Hey fam, welcome back, welcome back. Tonight you're rolling with the fam. And tonight we're gonna make some Brazilian style beef short ribs. Me and daddy just went to the Brazilian restaurant, Fuego de Chao in the DMV area, y'all. It's so many of these little Brazilian steakhouse restaurants. You know how they bring the, the cards to your table. One card is red, one card is green. The red means stop the meat, I'm done, okay? The green means bring on the meat, okay? I'm ready to eat, like, or you can eat buffet style, right? So that's what we're gonna do. And if you tired of eating beef short ribs the regular way, the braised way, on the stove way, in the other way, why not? You know, it's something different, something fun. Switch it up, you know our motto. Right now, we in love with the rotisserie setting, okay? And we just came out here and said, Rotisserie again, like y'all, we didn't show you how to make the rotisserie chicken. We done made a rotisserie Cornish hen. Tonight we're gonna make some beef, but it's the Brazilian style beef, so just hang in there with us, okay? Don't worry about what she's talking about. Just worry about what we talk about. You know what I'm saying? All right. So just like Mom said, we're gonna go ahead and throw these things on the rotisserie. So I'm not quite sure how this gonna work because in each pack it looks like it's four in this one. No, or three. No, it's four. It's four? Yeah, it looks like four. And, and this one looks like four as well. So, I don't know how we're going to jury rig this together. No, we're going to do two probably separate like batches. Way. Yeah, like, but that's what I'm saying. So, mm -hmm. probably like this way and use some twine, probably. I don't know. It depends on how right? they sit up on the rod. Yeah, it all depends on how we can get them up on the rod. But... Stay tuned. First, we're going to get together a nice blend of seasonings to go on these. And because they some nice thick pieces of meat, we're going to be kind of generous with the seasonings. But not so much with the salt. Because, you know, you only need a little bit of salt to bring out the flavor of all the other seasonings. So, let's mix our seasonings up together. We're going to be right back. And also, <laughs> right before we get started, y'all heard mom at the beginning of the video. What is she saying? It's called Fogo de Chow. Mm. Not Fogo de Chow. I don't know what she was saying with her goofy Fuego self. Fuego de Chow. Fuego. What is Fuego de Chow? <laughs> <laughs> it's Fogo de Chow. As many times we been there, you think I know Exactly. The exactly. So we're going to go ahead and make these things... Nice and good and juicy for y'all. Check us out. <laughs> Alright, so these are the little bit of seasonings we're going with. Regular old salt and pepper right here. Onion powder. A little paprika. Garlic powder. And I'm going to use some peanut oil to bring it all together so we can lather these things up nice. Yeah, because we really didn't research with the Fuego use. So. Fogo. Fogo. God dang it. Look, we're going to get it together, okay? Yeah, we're gonna hope mom and get it together. Y'all right. see that? I'm gonna say, you gotta make sure you got enough for. Both these packs. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take the pepper just a little bit more to grind. This thing come out so slow. And yes, it does. The salt come out real fast, but that's pepper. Look at the I know, right? But I haven't. You, we haven't um filled it up since the first time when we first bought this. Like what? A couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So we got enough seasoning in there, y'all. That's like 10 dad shakes. How many <laughs> I don't know. It was dad shakes. Yeah. You making sure you make it putting enough in here? Mm-hmm. 
do a wet rub. Yeah. Okay. A wet rub. Rub it down. Rub it down. Rub it down. Massage mm -hmm. it good. Now, we're going to rinse our meat, get our meat clean, and then we're going to go ahead into the wet rub, okay? Mm -hmm. So, let's clean the meat. We'll be right back. Forgot something. Forgot to call it, y'all. Mm -hmm. All right. So, as y'all can see, I'm just trying to get rid of as much silver skin as possible. Um, just a little bit of meat on that silver skin, but just getting rid of the silver skin because it makes it tough. Don't want to be trying to chew that. I'm just cleaning it up. I knifed out a piece of fat right there. A lot of unnecessary fat. It's like this. Big super chunky piece of fat. That's not going to render out good enough. So I got rid of it. The first piece kind of butterflied it. <laughs> I mean, I opened it up a little bit. I still left it attached to the bone. But I kind of opened it up some. I'll probably do it to one more or two more of the bigger pieces because me and mom we were worried about whether they were going to sit on the bone i mean uh the bone was going to get in the way of us rotisserie in it because i can remove the bone and we can just have the meat i know we can rotisserie that with no problem so i'm gonna take a couple pieces off the bone, leave a couple pieces on the bone, and then we're gonna go from there. But keep those bones, Dad, because yeah. I'm gonna oh, yeah. um, oh, yeah. probably make some beef broth out of that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you can make your own beef broth with them bones, y'all, so don't throw them away. See, just open it up some. Right. That meat looks so good on the inside, y'all. I leave it attached to the bone. Some of these pieces are really, really small and thin. So I'm not going to be able to do that. I'll just remove all of the unnecessary fat. Like this fat cat right here is a little, it's real thick. I'll just remove that and just expose all the meat. So once I go ahead and clean these up, we'll be right back. All right. Now that we've got uh, the silver skin removed, and most of that um, hard fat that's not going to really render out, uh, we're now going to season them. The four, the three bigger pieces, I butterfly them. Can you show them, Mom? Mm -hmm. Butterfly those pieces. I opened them up because they was really thick. I wanted to season them to get all the way through. Okay. And then now what? And then now go ahead and drop them in. Okay. And go ahead Ooh. and season them up. The fun part. I ain't make it to the best part yet, though. Put them other big pieces in it. So we about to put those in. Put them I'm back in here. No, I'm going I'm to get a separate little plate for my sitting. And I was supposed to actually start this last night so they can go ahead and marinate overnight. But you know how the time to get the best of you. So if you want to do this and marinate it overnight... That's fine. They probably gonna have more flavor that way too, y'all. Oh yeah. I just push you. And out as bad anyway. as I wanna get in there with my hands, I don't wanna waste the seasonings. I'm holding it now, Mom. No, get in the frame. Oh, I'm not in the frame. <laughs> you still not in the frame. She always tell me I'm not in the frame. Scoot up, sir. Okay. Tell him, y'all. <laughs> can't see nothing. That's an amateur. He don't know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just be so excited. Mm -hmm. Look good already, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to see how we going to put that on the, on the rod with the bone on it. Go ahead and put that one on. Sauce. I love oil. Because no, that is heavy handed, so. Heavy handed pieces of cuts of meat. Mm -hmm. Have y'all tried y'all ribs this way? 
Let us know. How y'all like to cook y'all short ribs? Mm -hmm. Scoot up more. Oh, it's a piece I didn't get, y'all. You know. It's a piece of hair I didn't marinate. Oh, yeah. That green showed out with some blood. Oh, that's a big piece right yeah, there. Yeah, this is the biggest piece. I had to butterfly this three yeah. times. It looked like a plank steak. I know, right? Go ahead and drop all those bones in there, man. Look, you want to be able to fit all of these? I think so. No, let's do those two. Hope I got enough season. I told you. I know, right? I told them, y'all. Didn't I say that? But <laughs> I can also rub them on the big ones over here because they got a lot of stuff. Because I know y'all probably thinking, like, uh, you still got more meat in here. And this bowl is getting empty. All right. So whatever's left in these is going to have to be for those last little three and this little piece of meat right there. <laughs> left in here. <laughs> All right, y'all, so real quick, Daddy just stepped away. So we about to go ahead and see how his twine skills is because he went on my chicken video. What you running from? <laughs> I'm running from her. Come on, Where you going? You know I got my one up. Look at my phone back. Oh, my God. What you got this phone for? All right, come on. Let's see these twine skills. Come on, because he's well, talking about... Well, first of all, look, look, look. 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 Y'all okay. seen that rotisserie video. <laughs> what y'all thought? How y'all thought I did with the uh, the bondage? <laughs> or the tying it up? Okay. All right, so how far do we even go in with this? Like right here? Yeah. No, no. So you want to adjust it. First, you got to get it on the rod. Don't worry about that part. First, you got to get it on the rod. And then you can adjust it. But first, I need to know even how far do I have you on the rod. You won't know that until you get everything on it. Because okay. this is the fork that's going to be stuck in the meat both sides so first you got to get it on it and then centered and then you push those together okay that's why i was giving you the little black thing so you can stand that up and then just put your meat on it and kind of see how you want to do it first but the black thing it's not gonna it's one it's gonna take up space mm -hmm. two like i have still nothing to tie it to so let me see, see how you're gonna figure this out, y'all. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out. So let us come back. We're gonna figure it out and we're gonna come right back. Thank you. Uh -huh. Alright. So what I'm gonna have to do is do I'm gonna have to do bone bone and like sandwich it in the middle like that, right? Let me let me map this out soon. They make it look easy coming to the table on the little Brazilian rods. So now we got to figure this out at home. Something like that, right? And then I'm going to sandwich it between each piece. Oh, then I'm going to kind of like tie it off. That's what, right. See what I'm saying? Make sure it's meaty enough where the fork can go through. But how you gonna get it to go through? I'm gonna, you I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on that. Yeah. Let me get my twine. Let's see what we can do. Learn your tie and not skills, bro. I don't know, but I'm about to see. Look, I was I was criticizing mom on her time skills. Let's see what my time skills look like. Exactly. 
Let's see what dad tan skills look like. Let me try to see if I can just get them up here first. Whoop. Struggle. Mm. Don't be talking about you struggling already. Yeah, it's slippery. Yeah. Whoa. Alright, let's stay still. Rod. We be having in our heads, and now you gotta execute it. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is about execution. Mm -hmm. If I could try to keep this in this little pocket of meat right here, <laughs> I know, right? I gotta make sure I'm in the frame. Yeah. Okay. Make sure it's stay on me. Okay. See, that's a little bit more trickier than the chicken. Yeah. Way more. Mm -hmm. But it's just like the, what is it, the sirloin or the the other little things you can tie up like the prime bread mm -hmm. shrimp and prime bread mm -hmm. oh, come on swine don't start unraveling on me <laughs> but we always say it's the roller with the fan way <laughs> Like, Dad, your feet is so big. Uh -huh. All right, good. Okay. Right, I think I got it tied on here. Mm -hmm. I think so. So, this one I'm working with so far. String off at the end, so yes, we have it too tight on end. Yeah, I'm hoping that. Okay. <laughs> Look, you got the string Jimmy rigged around the tripod, <laughs> <Stop on. laughs> so he got a long enough feet. Yes, and don't get all tangled up as he rolling it up. Once you start, it's the hardest part of starting it. So yeah. Now you getting somewhere. Oh, wait. Where's my other piece? It's like once you go around it that way, you will have to probably turn it the long way so it can stay. I don't know. Like flip it and then wrap it around the other way. Too. I know, right? Uh-oh. See, yeah, see yeah. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. Because as it's rolling... They ain't gonna think gonna be falling. Yeah. Look, y'all ain't supposed to be helping right exactly, now. Exactly, see? But hey, 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 we getting it done. Mm -hmm. Okay, looking good. That way, once you put the little forks in it, you know it, wherever you put it, it's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> I got it done, though. I got it done, though. <laughs> hey, you look good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to tie it. I got to tie it off. I got to tie it off. Oh, my goodness. Look, see, we don't see in the back how they be having it. So, we only see it when it comes to the table, how exactly. it's Exactly. Uh-oh. Hold on. 
Hold on, Dad. You don't know how to tie knots? No, I wasn't in the Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm. I thought you was. You said you was in Boy Scouts. No. Look, I was in Girl Scouts, but we didn't learn how to tie the knots, though. What Girl Scouts was you in? Uh, <laughs> which one was I in? I don't know. We just sold a lot of cookies. And then, like, a little All right. bit. So, there it go. Yeah. I done tied the short rib on there. Okay. That look good. Y'all like that? I ain't got to put our hooks in it. Oh, you still got a lot of meat left. Yeah, I know. Put our hooks in it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't know if I need to put it actually all the way through it. Yeah, just enough where it's going to be able to sit and be snug. Because you still got to clamp it down with the little screw. So, you may not have to be able to stuck, stick both of them in there. But, yeah, once you. Okay. Like, how far on the bar am I supposed to go? But you got to pull it down a little bit more. Because you got to have enough space so you can put it in the oven. So, does this part go to the bar part? Yes, so you need to scoop that down some more. All the way to the bar area. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's going to it's gonna come down all the way. There you go. Okay, now you can, can you scoot it down a little bit more on the bar? Hold on. There you go. Right, right you, gotta, you gotta have a little, little head space. On both sides so it can rotate. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Even though I didn't have to actually skewer the meat. No, that actually looks good, though. I can't right. wait to see how the end product look going to look. Okay. All right. Mom's going to prep it, prep the oven, get it hot, and then she's going to toss it in, and we'll be right back. Okay? Okay. All right. So, first, we got to take some of these racks out. All right. We got to find our settings. Let's see. Rotisserie. What are we going to do? Two. Yeah, no, we're going to do. Let's do 225. Okay. Right? That's kind of. How low does it go, though? How low does it How go? How low does it go? How low does it go? It goes 120. Okay. All right, but we're going to do. Let's do 230. For how long? An hour. An hour. Get that meat enough time to break down. Uh, now, does one side need to go in versus the other side? Or? Yeah. Let me hold it so you can. I mean, let me let you do it so you can see how to do it. Hold it. There you, Bam. there you go. It's on there, y'all. So it's easy. Now, we're going to go ahead and let this rock for about half the time, for about 30 minutes, and then I'm going to check up on it. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and um, let it rock the whole rest of the way. And then we're going to see what this thing did. It's funny to see the hooks and they're just moving on its own. I know, right? But that's because these are closer to the bone and it's not that much meat on it. Yeah. So they're not gonna they're not gonna um there's nothing for the rods to stick into. Right. And I, they expose like yeah. that. So let's hope everything holds together. It's moving kind of violently. Aggressive. Mm -hmm. 
We'll be back. All right, so we're at 30 seconds left, right? But I think it should go a little longer. All right, let's crank it up um, the time. Let's see, it's almost over. Let's crank the time up. Let's put another 25 minutes on there. But as you can see, they look delicious. Let me open this so you can see it even clearer. They look delicious, y'all. See how that look? Delicious. So they done went for 59 minutes already. We're gonna let them keep rocking. All right? But they look good. See that? But they're not done though. So let's crank up the temperature too. Let's take the temperature up to 350. That was an hour already? Yep. Yeah. Was that 30 minutes? Nope, that was a whole hour. Alright. So 350. An additional 25 minutes. Let's rock. Alright, y'all. So I don't even think. We're gonna need the whole 25 minutes. Them things looking fall off the bone right now. See that on a shrink back on the bone, so I think we're gonna go ahead and call these. We're gonna call these. So let me get them out, get them set up so y'all can see them. All right, now we done got it out. Now that is too hot to be touching. We wanna have to use the pot handle to loosen this. Cause that thing is hot. Okay, looking real bloody. Are we not all the way there? You looking real bloody. Mm. It's been here for an hour. It's like a medium well. 